Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you are having a great day or night, wherever you are. I am doing the same. I have another message for us, so let us go ahead and get into it. I have already prayed, and so I'll just invite the Holy Spirit, sweet divine Holy Spirit. We welcome your presence. Ancestors of the pure and divine white light, we welcome your presence as well. We thank you for leading and guiding us and directing our path. Show us what we need to see. Tell us what we need to know and be aware of in this season. We give your name, praise, glory, and honor. We thank you for hearing us. Thank you for communing with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hello, Star Seeds. Thank you all so much for all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. I really appreciate you all very much. Thank you for your love and support. If you're new to the channel, welcome, 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 welcome. So glad to have you here, a part of our Starseed tribe and community. And if you are returning, welcome, welcome back. So glad to have you back. All right, um, so let me go ahead and let's get in the message. Um, before I woke up, um, I heard this song by Bon Jovi. I think it's called You Give Love a Bad Name, but it was like, shock to the heart, you're to blame, you give love a bad name. And then I woke up and I was like, huh? Like I haven't heard that song since I was in middle school or high school, but that song may be significant to someone and significant to this message. Um, as we know, um, there's still a lot of truth coming out every single day. Um, this is um, pretty much judgment season and harvest season. Everybody is getting a return on their investments, the seeds that they have sown. And um, so I'm seeing here that somebody who just wanted attention, wanted to be seen, wanted to be, you know, paraded around on a high horse, was doing stuff for status clouts and um, superficiality and vanity, this person is um, having a tra tragic ending on today um, for the things that they did to you all behind the scenes. They are experiencing a tower moment, a huge tower moment. Everything is falling apart and there's nothing that they can do about it. Um, God is um, also, your ancestors are restoring a contract with you have that you have with somebody. Um, this is a um, divine feminine or a divine masculine. This is a a relationship or a union contract. <clears throat> excuse me, that um, is meant to be. You're supposed to be on a spiritual journey with this person, and so this one is like written in stone. But some divine feminines and so that. Some divine masculines had to learn a major life lesson in order to get on this right path with you. And so now that is being cleared up and your ancestors are restoring this contract and bringing healing to a union. So in this message here, um, there's a divine masculine or a divine feminine that has found out that somebody that they were having a situationship with that they thought was a loving, loyal friend, supportive, is very, very obsessed with them, weirdly obsessed with them, like some um, fatal attraction movie type of obsession. And they had no idea about this. And so they, they, they were thinking that this person was their real friend. Um, them and this person was not in a relationship. And this, your, this divine masculine or this divine feminine, um, they could have been um, supporting this person financially. Yeah, they were supporting this person financially, trying to help them out. And your divine partner, they're finding out that this person was doing a lot more 
behind the scenes than they had knowledge of. They're finding out that this person did not want them to be in a relationship with you, did not want them to be in a divine union with you. They were um, secretly crushing on this person, but they were acting like, they were pretending like they didn't care and that they were cool with um, being in a situation shit with them. And it was just, you know, sex and them helping them out with their bills or whatever else they needed support in. So this divine masculine or this divine feminine of yours is they're finding out today and this week that this person was the reason that you all broke up. They're seeing that this person was very, very shady towards them. And they were thinking that this person was somebody that they could trust that would never do anything, you know, to harm them or to disrupt their life in any type of way that would cause them set black setbacks and blockages or delays or cause them to um, lose a relationship with somebody that they love. So they're finding out that this person was um, operating in heavily devil energy. This person was very, very obsessed. They were addicted to this person, like unreal, like type of addiction, addiction and obsession. And they were doing things and they were taking um, hasty actions, childish, immature actions in the background, very impulsive, reckless, arrogant actions in the background. And this um, divine partner could have been taking advice from this person as well. And they're feeling like a clown because they was following this person as a guide, but this person was trying to destroy them behind the scenes the whole time. They're finding out that this person um, caused them to walk away from you. And because they didn't want this person to be abundant with you. Because you're in this um, Queen of Pentacles or King of Pentacles energy in the upright. And they know that they could not compete with you financially. So the only thing that they could do is pretty much do sex magic on this person and lure, lure them away um, sexually and act like they were a damsel in distress or they needed help and support to um, trick this person into moving in with them. And so this person was fine with having a situation shit with your divine partner as long as they knew where they were every night and that they were not with you and they knew that they were driving a wedge in between you all. They were the third party in interference in between you all's divine union. So this divine partner is seeing that this person was weirdly obsessed with them and they were taking actions in the background, doing a lot of evil, nasty, dirty things. And they was being very, very, very sneaky and cunning and covering their tracks. And this is somebody that they thought was their friend and they're seeing that they this person was only out for selfish gain. They were selfish. They wanted this person for themselves as their wish fulfillment. That's why they were doing all of this in the background and giving them advice that was not the right advice concerning you. And this is what caused a, a separation in you all's divine union. So now that this person has found this out, they're realizing that they did not know this karmic energy at all when they thought this person was a loyal friend. Somebody that 
was supporting them or somebody that they were supporting and that they were a keeper of their trust and, and loyal but they're seeing that this person was just trying to win them at all costs and they understand why they were receiving a lot of bad fortune a lot of bad karma at this time because their money has tanked a lot of them have lost their jobs they're losing everything because they are listening to the wrong people and they're caught up in the wrong situations with karmic energies that they're not supposed to be with that detoured them off of the path that they were supposed to be on with you and so this person is running they're running fast away from this karmic energy that they thought was a friend but now they're seeing that this person is a stranger they don't know this person at all they didn't know this person like they thought they did they thought they was in harmony and peace with this person and you know they had a lot of passion you know sexually if they was in a, a um situationship and they was you know having a lot of parties at their house and stuff And so this person has received a um, a message of concern about this karmic energy that they were just trying to restart something with them. And they were creating a lot of illusions. They were a master of illusions, trying to manifest the, this person to get into a committed relationship with them. So they were cool with just them being in a situation pretty much friends with benefits until they got done working their magic and so this this divine partner is realizing that they listened to this person you know thinking that they were somebody who was wise or they were a, um, a wisdom barrier that had a lot of experience and that this person was kind and you know doing um, acts of kindness and services for everyone they thought this person was somebody that they could trust that they can take advice from and that this person was kind and have been helping everybody but they're seeing that this person was wearing a mask and so this um divine masculine or divine feminine yeah they're seeing that this person was very very shady towards you all's relationship and they're the ones who caused you all to break up because they knew that they couldn't compete with your um, success, your wisdom and your knowledge, and you're very intelligent. So they caused a lot of confusion in this situation because they wanted this divine partner to be stuck in the past and not move forward. They wanted to have the they didn't want them to have success and victory with you. Because this person knew that this that you were their um, real empress or their emperor. And they did not want them to choose you. And so this person, um, the divine partner is seeing that this person only wanted them for hedonistic type of energy. They don't want this person to walk away from them. And um, and it's mainly because of money, support. They wanted this person to continue to feed and fund their hedonistic lifestyle. They were just um, chasing thrills and excitement and after a good time. And they wanted this person to pretty much be their puppet on the string and they did not really have any real love for this person um, because they're heartless they're soulless because of all of the things that they have experienced in their life and also all the spell work that they have been doing on people so they were trying to hold this person spiritually hostage to keep them bound to them they were doing a lot of binding spells to keep this person up under them all the time and feeling like they could not get away from them like they want to get away but they can't 
make a move. They can't make up their mind because they was doing a lot of mind magic on them. Crown chakra manipulation. And so they didn't want this person to um to walk away from them, to be with you, and they wanted them to continue to give them money to fund their party and lifestyle. This person lacked purpose, lacked direction. Just wanted somebody just to take care of them and figure everything out for them so that they can live a good life and not have to do the work, not have to not have to contribute contribute to the relationship or to the household um not have to make bring any money in they just wanted this person to fit the bill for everything and just take care of them while they have no sense of purpose no um direction they was going in no business plans no structure or anything just wanted to be taken care of for the rest of their life and so now this person has, your divine partner has found out this truth, has found out this information that this third party interference, that they are in a situation ship after you were, after, after this person broke your relationship up. Now this karmic energy is feeling very hopeless and in despair because everything is falling apart. Everything has been found out what they have been doing behind the scenes and this divine partner is not, their judgment is no longer clouded. They see exactly what this person did. And they, they were not telling the truth because they thought they was telling this person that they would be better off with them. And so now this, this karmic is stressing and worrying. They're crying in private. Uh, because they have been caught up. They were stalking you on social media and lying about it. But this person has found all of the fake accounts. They wanted this person to um, leave you hanging with no closure, no contact, to, you know, to not um, respond to your messages if you were you know, texting this person or calling them. But this, your divine partner has found out about all these secret accounts that they were using to um, stalk you on social media. And they were lying about it when they were asked about it before. But now the truth has, coming out, has come out and they are seeing that this, they did not want this person to move forward with you. And they wanted this person to block your... Um, your calls and your texts, or they went into this person's phone without them knowing about it and blocked you in their phone. And this, your divine partner has found out about it and they unblocked you. And this is probably why a lot of uh, information is coming out now because they noticed that they would, you were blocked in their phone, but they did not block you. So it had to be this karmic situationship person And they're um, seeing that you are right. They're t they want you to know that you are right. You probably told them that this karmic was faking like they was pregnant. Or they was if they was pregnant, the baby was not theirs. And they have found out that information as well. Because um, you could have told this person that the dates didn't add up. Or what, you know, they were telling your person. Or when they was, you know, had conceived or whatever. And the dates did not add up or they found out that this child was not theirs after getting a paternity test. This is a lot going on here. So, so this divine partner, they know that this person is a bully. Um, they was faking wearing a mask. The whole time they had a hidden agenda and they were doing sex magic on them. <clears throat> They're seeing that this person is very um, mentally ill and they don't have any integrity. Yeah, this is a, a gold digger that they were in a situation shit with. 
And so I'm, I'm figuring like this person was um, maybe talking to this karmic before and then they got a rela in a relationship with you and this karmic was mad about it. They feared this person committing to you. So this is why they did all of this to lure this person away from you. And this person would just thought, thought that, you know, y'all break up was just because y'all couldn't see eye to eye or whatever. But now they're seeing that this karmic energy was manipulating the situation the whole time with spell work because they did not want this person to give you an offer. So they did binding spells on them, sex magic and all type of other spells to lure this person away from you, to move in with them, to start supporting their lifestyle. And they're finding this out. And they are running fast away from this person because they're seeing that they this person was a stranger. This person is a lost soul. They need to heal. They're very delusional. And they did all of this because they didn't want to be defeated. But what's meant for you would not miss you. If this person was meant to be in a relationship with them, then it would be. And so this person was telling your divine partner that they were their true um, empress or emperor. Soulmate connection. But they were doing all of this spell work in the background and it has come out. So if somebody was meant to be with you, ma'am or sir, there's no way you would have to do all of this. You wouldn't have to do no spell work on them if they were yours. So make it make sense. So this person is, um, this divine partner has found out all of this information and they are running, not walking, they are running away from this, this person, this stranger that they thought they knew that they didn't know. And they are very angry at everything that they are finding out. And a lot of them um, found out that this person was putting something in their their food and in their drink, trying to keep them stuck there, binded there to them. And they were mis mixing up something in their food and in their drink. And what they were doing was very, very gross. Um, it's something red, that's all I'm going to say. And you know, it happens to a woman every month. So they were doing this to this person and they found out and they are mad and they could be having fights and, arc and um, altercations because all of this um, spell work that they did, love spells, sex magic, binding spells, has backfired. And now they're experiencing the opposite of that effect that they wanted from this person. And they did not, they were trying to hold on to this person for money. They're a gold digger. But they did not get what they were expecting, what they were waiting on. And so this person is um, telling this karmic that they want to be in their divine union with you. Um, they want to be in their north node operating in their purpose with you. Their third eye is wide open. They have clarity now. You're the only one that makes them happy. They have been lost without you this whole time that they have been separated from you. And they're no longer too, no longer willing to pretend that they were happy in this situation with this, uh, this karmic energy or taking the advice of family, friends, and karmics. They're no longer doing that. Their third eye is wide open. They see everything with clarity. And they're telling this person that they're taking this path with you on their north node, in their north node, and that they are going to be a good husband and a wife to you as you deserve because they know now that you're the person that they're meant to be with. And they found out that this, per this karmic energy was doing something very, very deceptive in the spring of 2021. 2022 or 2023 for some of you all take what resonates but they found out the deception that this person the seeds that they sowed in the spring of those years that caused 
this separation in you all's divine union. This person did not want them to, and they did this because they did not want them to have a strong, firm foundation, solid foundation with you to build a family, build strong family roots, and be in your divine purpose in your divine union moving forward together they did not want them to be with their divine feminine or their divine masculine and they did not want to surrender and stop doing what they were doing they wanted to keep repeating the same cycle with your divine partner so that and they, they and confuse them and cause a lot of illusions so they would not ever stop step into who they're supposed to be. They wanted them to be in this distorted masculine or distorted feminine energy, constantly repeating the same cycles over and over and over again, never moving forward so that they can keep this person under their control, keep puppeting them like a puppet on a string and keep you all in um, separation. They're the ones who cause this separation between you all now they're asking for forgiveness and apologizing to this these divine partners and they didn't show no mercy or any compassion for you and this and this divine partner so they know that this apology is not real they're just apologizing because they have been found out and if this information would never have came out they would have still kept doing the same thing to keep this person stuck with them on the wrong path. But um, your spirit team stepped in and like enough is enough. You're designed, you are meant to be with this particular divine partner, whoever this message is, those of you who this message is, is for. And so your ancestors, your guides, are restoring this contract, restoring this relationship between you all, bringing healing in this situation. And this person is fully awake now, and they know that they're supposed to be with you in a divine union. You, both of you all, in your North Node, in your purposes together, being married and taking this journey and this path together. But they just found out what this um, this karmic energy, a dark witch and a gold digging hoe did. And they were lying and sneaking, being very, very sneaky in the background with all of this magic because they didn't get what they were expecting and they didn't want this divine partner to release them because they are totally obsessed with this person. But they are walking away from this. Um, yes, this person is a dark witch and a gold digger and a hoe that sleeps around for money with anybody. And now they want forgiveness, but they need to get go to God to get that. So that is the message, star seeds. Um, this karmic really, really feared this person committing to you. And this is very bad news to them. They did not want this person to run away. So whatever they, and it's obvious that they were fearing because you wouldn't have to do all this spell work on somebody to keep them away from somebody if they was meant to be with you. So what they feared came upon them. And now they're stressing it and worrying and crying in, in private but pretending like they don't care. They're a very impulsive bully that is obsessed and needs to go heal and get on their right path and on their right track if they can recover and make it through all this karma that they have to deal with now, all these consequences for the, the effects of the actions that they took towards you and this divine partner in your divine union. All right, star seeds, um, that is the message. I love you all. Oh, let me get, oh, God said, let me see. All right.
right? So the advice for this message is to um, stay present. That's where life happens. Be authentic. Anything else is exhausting. Stop trying to carry the world on your shoulders. And so this is what has happened to this karmic. They were not being authentic. And now they are exhausted with all of this spell work and all this stuff they had to do in the background. And they still didn't get what they wanted. Still got to receive all this karma back for what they did <clears throat> to you all in this situation. Because this um, divine partner is coming towards you. They're about to communicate and let all... Of it says, let your feelings out, all of them, even the ones that scare you. Someone is in need of your love. Offer it to them. So they're about to let you know everything, tell you all their feelings, and give you a offer. And this is somebody that you're supposed to be with. So um, you all know that we have about 6, 7 billion people in this world. But the 144... But still, you know, when this person come back towards you, you know, telling you everything is pouring out their feelings and emotions, you know, still seek God first before you deal with people, places, and things so that your spirit team can confirm to you that this is the person that you're supposed to be with and that this person is coming back and they are the one that you're supposed to be with in this divine union. And they will let you know. All you got to do is ask them, seek them first. And you will not be led astray. And you can save yourself a lot of heartache and pain, setbacks, wasting time and energy, money, and all of that. If you seek God first before you deal with people, places, and things. All right, Starseeds, that is the message. I love you all. God loves you. Love and light. Treat yourselves and others right. I will talk to you all soon. Peace be with you.